Breaking news happening right now in Independence, where police say a two-year-old has been hurt in a shooting. Happened on South Glenwood Avenue, just north of 24 Highway. KCTV5's Betsy Webster joins us live now from the scene. Betsy, what can you tell us? Carol, I'm going to take a deep breath here because this is very sad and very frustrating. Just a little while ago, a woman ran up to me frantic, said she lives in that house, told me this uh, two-year-old was a little boy, or is a little boy, I should say, and then told me that he was at the hospital but was not breathing. Now, you can see the Christmas lights behind me in the neighborhood. You can't see the house where this happened because it is just beyond those lights, but I want to take you to some video we shot before nightfall uh, where you can see that house. Um, people who live there pacing on the porch. Um, it was 4.30, police say, when someone, someone fired shots into the house, then drove off. The two-year-old was struck by the gunfire. Um, they described his injuries as critical. Now, they believe that the suspect, uh, the one who fired the shots, then crashed the car uh, at Truman and, I should say, Truman and Noland Road, right over by the police station, and then took off on foot from that car. That person has not yet been located. Uh, neighbors tell me there are multiple people who live in that home, uh, multiple people unrelated, several families, and they point out that there are a lot of children in this neighborhood, too. I mean, they are downright angry uh, about what happened. Uh, that woman woman who lives at the home. She was angry. Uh, she was distraught. She was crying. And I will tell you, this is also impacting the police officers. Um, I had a private conversation with an officer who did not have any information to share with me about the case, uh, but told me that he um, was one of the people who helped attend to the boy's wounds. And you could just tell in his eyes that this was uh, a tough a tough thing for him um, on Christmas Eve to be dealing with a two-year-old who'd been shot trying to save him and unclear yet at this point whether they've been able to. Live in Independence, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Uh, hopes and prayers that that two-year-old can be saved indeed. Betsy, thank you.